Good evening, my Kardec Radio Spiritist friends. We come to you once again with the book, The Way, the Truth, and the Life, written by the Spirit Emmanuel through the mediumship of Francisco Candito Javier. Today, we will be covering chapter 81, entitled Human Authority. The New Testament quote from this particular chapter is written by Paul, first letter, chapter 2, verse 13. For the Lord's sake, submit yourselves to every human authority. And then Emmanuel writes, as they approach Christ's lessons, as they approach Christ's lessons, certain impulsive temperaments temperaments see the gospel as a set of principles that are destructive for the current world order. Others see the master as an avid anarchist inflamed with sublime anger. However, Jesus would never support disorder. The novelty overflowing from the gospel does not advise the humble to take up arms against their brothers and sisters but to become even more humble by taking up their cross as the Savior did. It is obvious that the good news does not teach bowing down before insolent tyranny. And nevertheless, it does ask for the respect for human authority out of one's love for the divine master. If persons of authority demand more than they should, if they become despots, then at the right time, the Lord will correct them amid the circumstances that express his will. This certainly is one more reason for the peace of mind of the Christian servant, who under no circumstances should break the rhythm, rhythm that is the rhythm of harmony. Therefore, do not be indifferent towards the authority at your place of work. It is possible that quite often it will not meet with your approval. Even so, remember that Jesus is the supreme authority on earth, and he would not have you put your and he would not have put you where your efforts were not needed. You have a sacred duty to fulfill right where you happen to be today. If you are rebellious, your efforts will be for naught. Remember this truth and submit yourself to human authorities out of love for the divine Lord. There is a uh, quote I looked up on the internet uh, about this particular, at least this human authority situation. And one of the references was to Peter uh, chapter two, verse 13. And it talked about human authority often meets with it controversy and cynicism. And there are uh, two of those uh, situations in our society right now that are very, very much in, in uh, uh, wide open. And that is in the uh, climate change and the coronavirus pandemic. The climate change uh, has people on one side denying it. It's been around for quite a while. Uh, at least the effects of it have been around. Uh, when you've lived in a particular area, all your life, you, you see what the effects are. You know that the water's rising in certain places and people have had to, had to evacuate. Uh, the one I wanted to really, though, talk about a little bit more is the pandemic. Because that's another one. Uh, in, from the environmental side, you have the people that, that accept the fact that we affect the, the environment. And you have the people that say you don't. And again, what they're doing is they're going against the scientific uh, authority and they're going against the environmental authority, the people that have been involved with this for such a long time. From the pandemic side, what do you have? You have the, the people that uh, wear their masks, the people that social distance, the people that uh, stay away from uh, social gatherings. Uh, they, they, they don't take vacations. And of course, they don't get together with their, their family unless absolutely necessary. 
they stay within their immediate family. And then you have the people on the other side of the fence who uh, will not accept this uh, scientific authority as far as the uh, uh, social distancing, the mask wearing, the uh, g gathering, social gatherings. I mean, we had a perfect example of that up in North, North, it was North Dakota where Sturgis, where the motorcycles people got together. And of course, they had a had a result of that was was a lot of spread. It was it was sort of a super spreader. Now, people will try to justify this situation of not going along with one side versus the other side, and this is a perfect example of this controversy and cynicism against human authority. Okay, the top of the chain is God. God's the authority of the universe. Jesus happens to be our authority here on earth to govern our planet, as we know from, from spiritism. So these people that are on one side versus the other side, the side that takes that stance that uh, we're impinging on their, they're, they're being impinged on their rights. This is, this is a perfect example of a pride and selfishness situation, which is rampant unfortunately, in our, 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 our world. And of course, from the spiritist perspective, we know that the earth is going through a transition. It's elevating itself to a, the next higher level. And there has to be a de-escalation of this type of thinking and action. We need to accept everybody as equal. The person that cleans the street to the person that runs the company, the person that runs our, our country. Not, <clears throat> it's not happening. As Emmanuel uh, says in his, in his next uh, sentence here, others see the master as an avid anarchist in flame with sublime anger. And of course, nothing could be further from the opposite. Christ came here preaching love to us, humbling himself as he had mounted the cross and was crucified. Uh, yes, he preached a radical way of changing your life about loving God and <clears throat> loving your neighbor. But order is what he craved for our society. And then he goes on to talk about the novelty overflowing from the gospel does not advise the humble to take up arms against their brothers and sisters but to become even more humble by taking up their cross as the Savior did. And again, we'll, we'll float back to the pandemic and we will see that the people on the side that are wearing the, wearing the mask and social distancing, there might be many of them that don't agree with this. They think that they don't agree with the scientists, but so many of them have decided, okay, I'm going to humble myself I am going to treat my neighbor the way I would want to be treated, especially if I was on the other side of this argument. And they wear the mask, they social distance, they don't gather in groups, they shy away from, vac from vacations, and they minimize the contact with other people. Obviously, we've got to have some contact. We've got to go shopping for groceries. Uh, we've got to help some of our neighbors and so forth. But we take the precautions that are necessary the mask, the social distancing, the washing of the hands. These are things that just have to be done in order for us to overcome this virus. And of course, the vaccination also has to be done so we can create this herd immunity that's definitely needed for this pandemic. Whether <clears throat> some, of, some of our brethren don't believe in this, this is the way we've got to go. So, Emmanuel goes on again. He's, he, the next thing he talks about is the insolent tyranny. And, and it doesn't, and he's, he's not, God's not asking us uh, to, uh, to put up with that. But what he's saying is he does not ask for respect for human authority out of one's love for the divine master. In other words, he doesn't want us to bow down to this particular tyranny, but at the same time, he wants us to know that God will step in at the right time. If they become despots, then 
at the right time, the Lord will correct them amid the circumstances that express his will. Another way to look at this is a, is a quote in the, the gospel according to spiritism that talks about uh, if the powerful on earth abuse their authority, they will find themselves reduced to a position of obedience to their own servants. Of course, that's referencing how you treat people, but it's, 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 it's basically the same thing. And Emmanuel goes on to say that as long as we understand and we keep the harmony within ourselves and we don't react to this without allowing God to do his thing, he says, this, is, this gives us peace of mind when we know we trust in God, that God knows what's happening and knows how to help us solve the problem. And again, he, he emphasizes the peace of mind of the Christian servant who under no circumstances should break the rhythm of harmony. And that's when we try to interact uh, and break harmony where we put in, we try to merge irresponsibility with responsibility, or we try to merge a lie with uh, a truth. It doesn't work. We have to do our part and know that somehow, some way, in some particular time frame, God is going to take care of it for us. And the next thing that Emmanuel goes on to talk about is uh, not to be indifferent towards authority at your place of work. It's quite possible, as he said, that we will not meet up with approval at work. But remember that Jesus being the supreme authority on earth, he would not have put us where we are if it wasn't for the fact that you are needed there. Your efforts are needed there. You have to sacrifice your duty to fulfill the right where it happens to be today. And this is, this is tough for us. If we were brought up properly, uh, because when you look at the hierarchy of authority, one of the most important ones is, of course, the parent's authority over the children. And if the children are raised properly and understand the fact that the parents are in charge and that life here on this earth is not a vacation, our, our parents, of course, need to understand that, that everything shouldn't be a rose bed for the children. They should learn discipline over and over again and not constantly be badgering their parents. Of course, grandparents, friends of the family, they all have a role in this particular authority issue with, 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 with children. And when you, when you see all the different levels of authority that go through our society, the, the people that uh, govern our particular locale where we work, the policemen, the firemen, the judges, these, these are all people that wield some particular type of authority. And of course it goes all the way up to the, the governor and then to the uh, president and so forth. They're all uh, authority figures. And this is what we're asked to do to follow those particular uh, authority figures. There's another quote in the gospel, and this is, this, is, this is one that I really love, and it's under, under the blessed are the merciful, and it says, there is no legitimate authority in the eyes of God, but that which is based on the example of goodness it offers. <clears throat> and as long as these authority figures offer this goodness, we have no particular issue, but sometimes that happens. And we still have to wait and see where Christ is going to give us the way of rectifying this situation. And it, it always happens. We're always being corrected, or as I like to call it, encouraged. This transition to the higher, higher level is going to happen, and there are going to be a lot of corrections made. 
I would like to close with this one, well, this one last thing that Emmanuel says. He mentions if you're rebellious, your efforts will be for naught, won't be any, won't serve any purpose. So he he talks about remembering this truth and submit yourself to the human authorities out of what? Out of love for the divine Lord. Because as we know, God is always with us every moment of the day. And we need to build up not only the trust in ourselves, but if we build the trust in ourselves, we build up the trust in God. And that is what our society needs to bring into it. So not this evangelical uh, type of talk. And we need just to have God in our lives, to recognize God in everything we do and say and think. This is our Savior. Okay, my friends, I <clears throat> would like to uh, just say a short little, short little closing prayer. Dear Mother, Father, God, Lord Jesus, Mother Mary, Mentor Spirits, your guidance and protection were so grateful for this, this evening that we were able to get through this particular uh, reading and commentary without too many stumbles and falls. And this message will be hopefully used to help people to understand that we must pay attention to the authority here, not only up in heaven from God and Jesus, but also here on the, on the earth plane and, and tr to minimize the rebelliousness, to work on understanding things first before we take action. But even if that, that action needs to be a peaceful, nonviolent type of action, if you want to make changes. But once you understand where people are coming from and you don't negate the authorities, things will work out. We love you, Jesus and God and Mother Mary and spirits. We thank you for the guidance and protection. And we humbly ask to close today's session. And so be it. Good evening, my Kardec Radio Spiritist friends.